YouTubers. Hope your day is blessed and prosperous. Get ready to transform from short to long. So earlier today I had my hair out, which is jet black. It's short and curly. And I am deciding to go long and lighter. Um, I have a wig that is honey blonde with brown roots. Um, it's a wig that was given to me and um, haven't had a chance to wear it. So I decided to, you know, make a video with you guys and show how I put it into a high ponytail. Now I am a dark skinned girl and I believe that um, us dark skinned women can wear color. You know, it's you have to choose the right color and, um, you know, hairstyle that's going to fit you. Don't be afraid to be versatile. So right now I'm just going to brush out the wig with this paddle brush, making sure it's nice and smooth. I noticed that um, any colored hair that's taken up that's light tends to shed. So now I'm just going to clip my hair up, get it out the way because I'm going to be using a headband to secure it on my head and to also hide the band in the back when I have it up in a high ponytail. Okay, so now I'm just going to get that stitching lined up with the middle of my head so it's not off center. And I want to fold it because I don't want it to be too thick. See here, I'm just lining it up so that it's all centered. And then I'm going to take it in the back and tie it, making sure there's no um, separation in the hair. I'm going to tie it off in the back. Make sure that you can't see the band. So you kind of want to spread the headband so it's covering the band. And tie it off so it's nice and secure. And make sure you tie it just so it's, you know, it's nice. You don't want to give yourself a headache because it does have combs all the way around it. Okay, so now I'm taking my argon oil foam wrap and I'm just gonna apply that to my sideburns so they lay nice and flat and smooth. You want your hair to look good from every angle, so. I am smoothing out my sideburns and I'm also going to smooth out the back of my hair later on. Um, you just want your hair, the consistency of your hair to match the consistency of the hair of the wig. So I'm just taking it and taking the end of my rat tail comb and smoothing that and pushing it up under there so that it's nice and even. Um, I had some difficulty with the wig because um, there's a thick comb right there on the side so it's hard to kind of push the hair up there so now I'm just smoothing up my bang and doing the same thing to the other side get them sideburns together and just taking the end of the rat tail comb again and um, pushing the hair up under there and trying to smooth it out so it's not um, you know bumpy and spaced out got that headband secure bang is smoothed out now you can wear your hair um, well wear the wig down like this if you choose to um, I personally do not like the cone or the the bump at the top I hate that so um, I'm gonna pull mine up into a ponytail now I'm just brushing the hair 
all forward and you want to get it as smooth as possible it may be a little difficult to get it you know smooth because again it is a wig so um it is you know on on wefts and it's you know connected to a net so it's kind of hard to get it smooth just get it smooth as possible and if it is messy make sure it's just a controlled messy and so here it is i'm just going to put it in a ponytail And then I'm gonna um, twist it into a nice little bun. And you know you gotta play around with it to get it how you like it to your um, to your liking. Um, you know I don't know if you know, you may want it bigger, smaller, twisted. Um, you know messy, neat. You know get it get it to get it to your preference. I'm just gonna play around with it to uh, um, get it to how I like it. Okay, so I decided to just twist it and pin it with some bobby pins. And now I'm just gonna play with my bang a little bit. Uh, I really like for my eyebrow to kind of show a little bit, kind of peek through the bang. Um, and here it is again, I'm gonna add some foam wrap to the back of my hair. Now, um, I said earlier that I prefer the foam wrap and do not like gel, but if you have a hair texture that's not going to work well with the foam wrap, you know, go ahead and use what, what's going to work for you. Just make sure, like I said, everything is neat. And um, if you do use gel, make sure, you know, it's not so caked up that you can actually see the brownness or um, the dryness of the gel. That is not appealing to our hairstyle. And like I said, you want your hairstyle to look good from every angle. So now I'm just messing with my bang a little bit. Trying to determine if uh, I want that blunt look or a wispy look. And I definitely, like I said, I like my eyebrow to kind of peek through. You know, you do all this uh, precision uh, <laughs> filling into your eyebrows and then you cover it up with a bang. Oh no, honey, I need my eyebrows to show. So, um... I kind of want that blown in the wind look to my bang. I think I'm liking it, so it's looking cute. Nice little flirty bun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay blessed and stay pretty.